Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Veronica. And today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review on the Baby Jogger View Light Stroller. It was actually um, requested by one of my subscribers, so thank you for a video idea. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just let you know why I chose the stroller, why I like it, do I recommend it, what I don't like about the stroller. So I'm going to you know, just basically tell you how it's worked for me. Um, I do want to put it out there that Baby Jogger no longer makes this stroller. I had to buy it from a third party company and I think as of right now they no longer have them available but I did find some on Amazon so I'll go ahead and link the ones that I found in the description box down below that way if you do happen to like it um, you can go ahead and purchase it yourself um, as well. So if you are interested in seeing what I like about the stroller um, then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so this is my umbrella stroller. This is by Baby Jogger. Um, it's a lightweight stroller, but what I wanted out of my umbrella stroller was a little bit more comfort for my baby. I really hated seeing those extremely tiny, nothing to them umbrella strollers. And when I see little ones fall asleep in them, they're just like so crouched. And it makes me so sad. So I wanted something that was a little bit more comfortable. And there are a lot of umbrella strollers out there on the market now where they have a little bit more comfort to them. The reason why I picked this one, one of the reasons was I love the fact that it is forward facing and rear facing. So let me actually put the brake on. So I can have my child facing forward or facing myself and the rear facing one is actually for little babies so you can actually have them here in the stroller without having a little their car seat or that or a bigger stroller so this actually retines from very far back so that's as far as it goes I don't know if you guys can actually see so it's practically flat and this you can actually go ahead and lift up, that way they don't slide down and there's kind of like a stop to it. So that's really what I like the most about it. Um, so you can just go ahead and just lift this back up. And then you can have it forward facing. The canopy is also a big plus. It is a very, very big canopy. It has this little visor down as well to give you more coverage. Um, so a big canopy is always good, especially when they fall asleep and you really want the sun out of their eyes. It reclines far back as well from the front side. That goes in. And it's very easy to go ahead and change it. So it's got this little, actually you'll see it better from this side. It's got this a little push button here, so you just go ahead and push it and bring it back and just bring the canopy with it. And then you have your rear facing tread. Just make sure you pull it all the way through. Those are pretty much the main reasons why I chose it. It has a large canopy, reverse seating, it was lightweight, compact. It had a little bit more comfort to it. Um, I will say that it does maneuver very easily. It is not difficult to move around a lot, even with a baby sitting in it. So the wheels move great. It's very smooth. Um, I even go ahead and take it for walks to make it easier so I don't have to pull out the larger stroller and it goes over the bumps and cracks and everything um, quite nicely. So that is always nice. Um, there are a couple of things that I did not like about it and they're very minor things and one of them I actually honestly think has a lot to do with him and the way he sits. Um, I don't know if you can tell here, but it kind of looks like the seat is a little short. So what he does a lot is he slouches down, but I honestly
honestly think that has a lot to do with him because even in his uh, larger stroller, there are times where I have to go ahead and readjust um, his position when he's sitting because he tends to slouch. So I, I feel like that's just going to go away with time where he'll just learn to sit a little bit better. I also didn't like that it didn't come with any paddings. So these I purchased on Amazon just so that I can add just a little bit more comfort where the straps are as well as the, the bottom strap here. It did come with its own set. As you can see right here in the back. But they do not come off and then the bottom strap doesn't have one as well. So I wish it would have come with, with that. It also doesn't have a peekaboo window, but it's not too... I mean, it doesn't really bother me too much. And then what I've noticed when other people were reviewing this, they were complaining about how small the storage bag is. So this is the storage compartment here. It does look quite small, but I honestly have not had any issues whatsoever when it came to the space in there. I'm actually able to fit quite a lot in there. So what I do is I actually go ahead and put everything that I want to go ahead and place underneath here in this little bag because when we go to like Disneyland or stuff like that, they do check your items. So it's just easier for me to go ahead and pull this out and have them check the bag. Also, one of the employees from Disneyland did mention to me that they're no longer going to allow you to put the stroller on open. So you do have to go ahead and close your stroller. I think they're starting that in October. I don't really know if that's true or not, but that's what one of them told me. And you cannot fold the stroller with the items underneath. It just won't close all the way. So I have it already packed in here. That way I just pull it out, put it on my shoulder, fold the stroller, and um, that's it. But I'm going to show you everything that I pack in here. There's one thing that I do not have in here, but it does fit. It's his um, carry carrier. So I just put that in here as well. It's just It just happens to be in my car, but it does fit in there. And it still has a little bit of room for me to go ahead and add more stuff in there if I really wanted to. So what I pack in here is a little blanket for him when it gets cold later in the evening. And it's not thin at all, but it's not overly thick. So I just go ahead and fold that and put that in there. If you hear any noise in the background, it's my dog. <laughs> so sorry. Um, I have a thin little cardigan for myself in there, which I'm probably going to go ahead and switch out for maybe something a little bit thicker, and it will still fit. I have a sweater for my son. I have a jacket for him as well, a little hood. And this is something new that I just went ahead and added into the bag just in case we're out. The weather is starting to change. I don't want to get caught in the rain and not have something to cover him with. So this is a universal rain cover. So I do have that in there now. And one of the other things that I didn't, um, not that I didn't like, but it would have been nice to have because I've seen some other strollers have it, is a strap to go ahead and carry the stroller on your shoulder once you close it. Um, so again, this is something that I did purchase on Amazon. I have them strapped right here on the stroller. Just strap that on and then carry it. And then I can just go ahead and take it off. I don't need it. I just put it right back in the bag. And as you saw, it fit perfectly right underneath there. It would Still some room to go ahead and add some more items in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and just shove this in here for now. I'll fix it later. Put that over there. And then another neat little thing about this shoulder, since you do have the back side of the compartment, I mean, since you do have the back side for rear facing, when you're not using this, it leaves like a little open space here. And this is actually where I put my diaper bag or my purse in there when he is sitting upright. Now obviously once he's going to take a nap, um, you have to put this down and then you would have to take your bag out, but it's really not the biggest thing in the world. I have carried it on the sides of the handles and it holds up really well, um, or I just carry it. Um, but in all honesty, I do prefer to lay him down for a nap when it's in the rear facing position just because it has a longer seat so that he is a lot more comfortable and not 
like really sliding down. Um, the bad thing about the storage compartment is that because it is a rear facing, there's no entrance to the compartment there. The only way to get in is through the bottom, but again, it's not a big deal, especially for the way that I can pack it with a little bag. I just pull it up through the handles and we're good to go. The brake is right here at the bottom. It's very easy to lift up and push down. And then the way to just go ahead and fold it up is it's got this little piece right back here. You just go ahead and push up, step on the lever here, and then bring it down. And then as you can see, it's gonna lock right here. And then you just go ahead and lift up. It does have, which side is it on? Let me see, it's got this little handle, so you can go ahead and carry it like this. But when you're carrying a diaper bag, possibly an extra bag like I do, um, and then your baby, the last thing you want to do is kind of just be holding it like this. So that is what the strap is for. That way I can just have it this way, and I feel it's a little easier. And then to just go ahead and unfold it, release the latch right here, step down, and you're good to go. So yeah guys, that is it for the stroller. I do recommend this stroller. I absolutely love it. I wish they would continue making it because, I mean, I would honestly get another one for the next child. But anyways, um, I will leave a link to the ones that I did find on Amazon down below. That way you can check it out. Um, if they do not have them anymore, I know Summer Infant does make a similar one to this where it is rear facing. So you can definitely go ahead and check that one out as well. But speak, I don't really know how that one maneuvers and anything like that. I just can only speak on the stroller that I do have and I do love it. So yeah, I hope this video wasn't too all over the place. I try to be as organized as possible, but it's been a while since I've recorded a video, so I'm kind of out of practice, I guess you could say. But that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope if you are able to get your hands on the stroller that you do like it as well. And if you do get your hands on it and do like it, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.